In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this learning page. Hi, my name is Charles Kasasila and happy coding. I've left the link to the Figma design in the description if you'd like to take a look at it. I'll create your project folder that's portfolio and start the React app. That's with npx create React app uh, portfolio. But in this case, since I already created the portfolio folder, I just put the full stop to create it inside this folder. So this may take a, a while, so I'll just rush you to the part where it's all complete. And that's it, our project has been created successfully. So if I could uh, list the items that we have right here, you can see that we have the nodes, modules folder, the, uh, the different files, SRC public, and maybe open it up in VS Code. So I'm in VS Code right now, and I'll do a little bit of folder setup. So let's get started. Maybe in the index.html file, I would just like to change the title of our uh, application here. So I'll change it to my name. Let's see, then in the SRC file, that's where we're going to do most of our work. I won't, probably, I will, I won't need most of these files, so I can go ahead and delete them. I'll just leave them out there and not use them at all. So I'll create my... Uh, folder so i'll work with a folder called component and in this folder that's where i'm going to do most of the work i'll create the navbar the jsx file that's to create the navbar as the name says and then the content dot jsx file still so maybe to move into the index.js file i think this is okay we shall work with this and in the app.js file, uh, let me remove the default uh, code that comes with it and maybe print out an h1 tag to see that it's working. So to start the server, I just do npm start. So in the app, we still deleted the uh, the CSS file, but we still have it, so it's successful. So we have a real world, and we can build on from there. So up the JS file, what we want to do is uh, to be able to render out the navbar and the content. So I would have to import the navbar. Oh, sorry, I've not yet exported anything from the navbar. So I have an extension. Uh, that's the React. Oh, right. That's his extension right here, the ES7 uh, React Redux uh, React Native extension that helps me uh, write down a full, uh, the full layout of the component without having to go through uh, typing out the import, the function, the what. So I just do RFCE and then end, and then I'm able to get this uh, template right here. So I'll do the same for the component too, RFCE to get out the functional component. So back to the API, uh, the app.js file, I'll deport the navbar. Still not recommending. So I'll import it from, uh, let me move to the components. Oh, I named it components. Components, then navbar. Then I also import the contents. So import content. Still from the same uh, position. And I will render it uh, out here. So I'll render the navbar first, that's to be on top, uh, followed by our content. And you see, notice the error, that's because uh, we have to render out one uh, element. So let me put them all inside the div. And that's okay, you can see the navbar and the content. So that's it for the app.js file for my navbar uh, component right here. And instead of rendering out, uh, let me create some space here. Instead of rendering out this navbar text here, I'll then uh, change this to a nav component and then in a nav create a unordered list and then uh, maybe talk about me. About me, then have another link to. Maybe my skills 
and then the project and lastly uh, that's the contact this is supposed to be areas so that's it for the nav bar so if i'm to check uh, right now it has changed so let's do a little bit of styling of the nav bar so i'll move to i'm going to do all my styles in the index.css and i'm using vanilla javascript for today so i may not need this i would write out the nav so in the nav i would like it to uh, take up the whole space here and then uh maybe this to be at the uh, left this is the right the right side so i'll give it a display of flex and then i give it a flex uh, just five content of flex end so that's it for me and then maybe i'll give it let me go with padding give it a padding of 80 pixels okay that had to be padding that's 0 80 to keep it on the x-axis and i'd also uh, design the ul here so that's enough ul i'll give it also display of flex uh display of flex then list uh, type style uh, if style type none to avoid those uh dots that you see at the beginning and maybe a gap of 10 pixels gap of 10 pixels so that's it and then the list themselves that's the items and then uh, i would give them maybe a font size make them a little bit bigger and then bold that's the font weight so that's it uh, we have our nav bar here and I think I'm okay with it. So we can move to the content. Uh, maybe let me close up this to create some space. I think I'll still work with the style file. So I'm thinking of uh, content. Let me come over here. So I'm thinking of a content where I have uh, two rows, uh, one describing the things I do, that's like the main. Uh, the things I do and then a call to action maybe I'll have a div for what I do and maybe a welcome notice and then another div for the call to actions hire me see my portfolio and that's one one row and the second one I'll have uh, my figure that's uh, maybe an image of me so speaking of images I would create another folder so inside the SLC file here SLC folder i would create a folder for images let me name it img and then paste uh, the images that i would i would use for this project So that's it. We have our images. I would have that hand image, the wave emoji, and then the uh, in an image of me uh, to show in the figure. So let me import the images out here. So I have to import the wave. Uh, that's from. So I'm, now I'm moving to outside this component uh, folder to the IMG folder, and then picking out that emoji, that PNG file. I'll do the same for the me part, so I think I'll still call it me. That's from still image. And then so maybe add some classes to this. Uh, the class here would be the context. So in the 
a uh, main part uh, where I talk about myself, I'd like to have uh, the heading uh, including H1, maybe a greeting, like something like hi, and this is where I would actually put the, you know, this is where I actually put the waving hand. So I'll dive it out here and give it a source of wave, maybe an alternative of still wave. And let me keep the width at something like 50. That's a try, and then I shall check if that doesn't work out. So I'd also still have an H1 of who I am. So I am. Uh -oh, this won't allow me to do it. So I am Charles. I have that over here. And then uh, what I do, so. So front end developer. That's it. And then the paragraph to explain it more. So I design experiences. Is it this? Then develop experiences to make people's lives uh, simpler. Then also maybe I work with Okay, I think this is enough for a personal statement experiences the group because lives that will be okay for the personal statement. So I'd also add a class name here of uh, buttons for my buttons. Maybe create out one here. So I'll have the BTN of uh, give it a class of CTA and maybe another class of higher. So this would say hire me. That's it. And maybe have another button here still is also the same class CTS so they share a class and maybe a different one for portfolio. And this would say see my profile or see my portfolio. Let me go with projects. So this whole thing is a portfolio, so this won't make sense. So this will be project. Oh, I don't know what I did wrong there, but let's copy this here. Yeah, and that's it for the main part. So we have it here. So far now it's not styled, it's just uh it's just HTML. So in the figure part I would uh, bring out my me image here. So above uh, an AMG and then the source would be a uh, me and the alternative maybe uh, let's keep it to name choice the source here maybe give it a class name for let uh, me just go with me IMG so so I would create a div here probably I'll need it to create that background that you see we would have done that with before but I think with a before pseudo element, but I think uh, doing it with the div would be simpler. And that's it for the content too. So let's style this out. So for styling out uh, the content, the content class, that's uh, content over here. I would, uh, that's content. So I have this main with an image. This is with it. Uh, with it, and then uh, the different headers. So I would come here and give it, uh, let's create those arrows that we talked about. So I'll give it a display of flex and maybe uh, keeping in mind the uh, mobile first approach, I'll give it a flex direction of uh, columns, that's for the mobile phones. 
and maybe uh, if I come back here and create a media, so if I have media, then I win them. Uh, the main with it. That's with it. Is uh, eight hundred pixels. That's for the large screens. For the content class, I would like to change the flex direction to row. So if we can check that out, you can see this. So if I'm to turn this to a mobile, you'd see that it's uh, it's columns, and then to uh, larger screens, it's rows. But still, it's not yet designed. So we have the display reflection. Maybe give them a gap of ten pixels. Maybe I'll give it a margin uh, to keep the same as. That's a margin of 80 pixels, but this is on uh, larger screens. So I'll keep that here. Maybe for smaller screens, take it to 10 pixels. Something like that. Maybe trash in and uh, let's keep this image at two width of. Or let's keep it 400. And that's it. So that's it. So we have our high and the waving hand. Charles Casasio. Uh, let's work on the H1. That's H the H1 that in uh, in my main. So take this down to forty. So for the H ones, uh, that's H1. I'd like to take the margin down to zero. I didn't appreciate it at the beginning, so I'll take the margin down to zero. And for the smaller screens, maybe give it a, a font size, still make it a very large. And maybe for the large screens, that's oh, this is H1, H1, and give it a font size uh, bigger than the other. So that's it for the uh, H1s. Maybe to uh, design my content right here, I'd like to have this uh, cover the full space of uh, this, take up the same height as the image. So I'd come to my main class, uh, not main class, the main uh, element. So I'll have it here and give it also a display of flex. I'll be working with the, dis uh, the flex display, but you could also use the grid. So and the flex direction in this case would be the column. And what I would want them to do is take on a uh, justify content of a uh, space between. Okay, that's it. I wanted it to cover this whole space. And maybe a uh, part of the paragraph, we didn't uh, design out the paragraph. So my paragraph, I would want it to also make it a little bit bigger. Uh, that's 1.41 one heart. Make it bold, and not bold medium. And then also I uh, give it a different color. And this color. There's something uh, from black. Let's see. So if I take it, I think this would work for me. Or something like that. So I designed the work experience me because I forget. Okay, and still from the main part. So I'd I like to work on our buttons. That's the buttons and city, then the different high and project classes. So inside the uh, CSS file over here. Maybe put this under the main so I'll call out the buttons class. I'll just give it a display of flex and maybe a gap of uh, that's 10 pixels still. So that's okay. And then uh, the class that they both share that's the CTA. I'd give it a font uh, which should we make it bold? Let's go with bold, make it more readable, and then a padding of. Uh, for the mobile screens, I'll go with 10 pixels and then by 20 pixels. But for the larger screens, I'll go with a, uh, a padding of 
let me make it uh, bigger that's 20 and then 30 respectively so that's it and that's what you see right here so and then for the individual buttons for the higher button I would like it to have a uh, background color of white yeah, let me just go with the Xcode uh, white and then a border of uh, something like two pixels two two pixels uh, solid black and then on hover link on to each that's higher or when you hover I'd like it to then switch the background color would be background color would now be black and then the color of the text will turn into white and so that's what I wanted but I could do the same for the let me copy this too do the same for the project class do you name it project the project class so change this to project and for it I would like it to do the vice versa I would like it to start out black and when you hover uh, the background turns to white and then the, uh, the color of the text turns to black at first it's white okay. I didn't specify the color of the text here so let it be white that's it we get we have that uh, reverse effect so i'm okay with that but maybe increase the font size they're still a little bit small so i've got the city uh, maybe that's on the larger screens that could be okay for the smaller ones increase it to 0.4 and that's the mode still so this is really the one it's a bit large but i'm okay with that so i think i'm okay with the main part and uh, if we check on the responsibility uh, yeah it's still responsible still have uh, the image go down when you are on the smaller device the image still uh, it's still having that margin to it uh, let's work on the image section make it a little bit be bit better so back to our content uh, we're going to style out the image uh, that's in the figure so the figure is having that margin that you see so i uh, come to our figure here and give it a margin of zero maybe uh resetting the margin and padding at the beginning would have solved most of these problems but let's go on so and i'll also give it a position of relative uh, relative relative that would work for uh removing that margin that we had before you see now it starts with the contact and then uh on the image itself i think we gave it a class of me image me img so this is a class so we already gave it a width and maybe let's give it a border that's uh five pixels solid black mm, and then let's five pixels solid black and then let's give it a bottom uh, border so a border radius so we have a border let's see a border bottom left radius that's a radius on the but uh on the left bottom left uh corner that's 50 pixels and let's make it 50 percent Okay, this is larger than I expected. Let's take it down. Let's take it down to 40. That would work. The image is quite big, that's so it's let's take it to 350 and see. Okay, that takes the image down. And you can bring this back to 50. Okay, I think uh, that's okay for our image. So we can work with this for the image. And maybe give it uh, the, the, the div that we said it make. So let me give this an, a class of IMGBG. That's our background for the image, that backdrop that we see. So 
img.bg so in the CSS file uh, bg so I'll give it the same with it as our image that's with the uh, 350 uh, uh, pixels but I'd have to provide an height to so I'll just make up 400 pixels I'll give it a background color of black and the position of absolute remember we have a relative from our figure uh, element so this will have a position of absolute and to position it i'll give it uh, let's give it a top of a uh, negative 10 that's to start above our image so get 10 pixels and then a left of uh, 20 pixels that's to start like 20 pixels after image so that's it uh, this is it so we shall also give it uh, the same border uh, border bottom left radius Border bottom radius let's see and to send it to the back let's give it a negative a z index uh, that's negative one so that's we get to send it to the back and uh, what else can we do i think this is it uh, this is uh, what I promised, so we can check out the response workout. It is still a choice front end developer. Okay, this let's get to the buttons. So we have the CTS here. Let's just give them okay. Let me create the buttons uh, class here. And for this, we won't need the margin, so I'll put this as a margin zero. But when we're in smaller devices, we shall need the margin here. Oh, this would have been solved by giving the uh, the content a, a what the main a, a gap. They give the content a gap ten pixels. Let's just give this margin bottom. 10 pixels so we have space over here so that's okay you could change the image could come uh, before the text or it should appear at the background so that's it that's the end of the video thank you for watching up to this far and please if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet subscribe i make these videos at uh, almost 3 a.m in the morning so it would mean a lot if you leave a like and comment to keep me going. And there are more videos that they're suggesting you to watch. You could try and check out more of uh, front-end work I do. Happy coding.